Good morning. It is day eight, Pop of Cross America 2011. Uh, I'm here with Ryan and John and Kurt. Um, Kurt might look like a human, but he's actually a locomotive engine. <laughs> he pulled us 106 miles yesterday uh, into Mount Vernon, Illinois, which is where we're thankfully sitting on something other than a bike. Uh, we made it here 106 miles in five hours, 25 minutes. Um, if you don't know anything about how fast you can go on a bike, that's pretty darn fast. And uh, if I hadn't been sick, we could have gone faster, so it's all my fault. And uh, my whip is coming in FedEx tomorrow, so uh, I'll be feeling better. I'll have a whip. We're going to be going faster in the day. Um, our dedication this morning to a uh, child who is going through treatment right now, uh, which is what we do here on Pop Love Across America, is to uh, Ruth Cameron from Oklahoma. Her nickname is Baby Ruthie which I kind of like because we've had a baseball theme going to, to this ride so far, being that we started in Milwaukee. We were just in St. Louis, which is the great uh, rivalry. Uh, Babe Ruth played in those cities. Definitely in St. Louis. Yeah, <laughs> he played I, I didn't teams. know he played for the Brewers. He played, he didn't play for the Brewers, but he, they, he played in those cities. Oh, oh, oh okay, sorry. And uh, anyway, Baby Ruthie is from Oklahoma. She's three years old. She, um, like both of our sons, um, um, is going through Wilms tumor treatment. And she just relapsed uh, about 19 weeks ago. And just yesterday, she finished her treatment for her relapse, which involved um, another partial nephrectomy, which, which means they pulled out a little bit more of her kidney, which is where Wilms tumor uh, where Wilms tumors grow. It also involves 18 weeks of chemo and, an, and a round of radiation. Um, all these things John and I are very familiar with. Yep, very much. Um, when a child is going through radiation um, treatment, they have to be put under for each treatment. So um, for Pablo, he had 11 days straight of radiation and we had to go in in the morning. He would get knocked out. They put him in a mold of his body, put him into the radiation machine, and then he'd wake up. And by the second day of it, he was like a pro. Like he'd get, he'd come back uh, out of his, uh, out of the, uh, the the medicine, and he'd be ready to play. That's awesome. And so, um, baby Ruthie is through all that junk now, and they're now waiting for her immune system to rev back up, and they're going to test her body and see where she's at. And and John's going to tell us what she actually likes to do when she's not in treatment. Well, she likes to dance. She's a ballerina. <laughs> so super cool. And uh, now she has her, uh, hopefully she'll get her appetite back fairly soon and get her dancing shoes on and uh, we'll take him to the floor doing some uh, ballerina dance stuff, which I'm not familiar with, but <laughs> very excited. So in another 15 years, she can come out here for some cross training. Yeah, absolutely. And ride bikes with us. Yeah. So uh, we'll see you guys. Uh, where are we headed today? We're going 93 miles to Evansville, crossing into Indiana today. And one of us here is from, originally from Indiana. Wow. See you guys later. Bye.